ready? Time now for a short siege piece on compositions and inverses. Ben, go. This is Ben Bozak trying to introduce me like I'm on a game show. Let's see if the microphone picks him up. Go. Today's show brought to you by Canon Band West Ag. Now we're going to turn this show over to Joe Judy for the lesson of the day. Yay! What will be the lesson of the day? Will it be compositions and inverses? Yes. Uh, 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 uh. So you can't do compositions and inverses without some starter functions. These are starter functions. So we'll do a couple of compositions and inverses, just a little bit of practice. So let's do, uh, let's see, let's do 2x plus 3 and 2x squared plus 3, which are essentially the same function. And so we're going to play everybody's favorite game, find them. Well done. You want to know what the first period group did when I said, let's play everybody's favorite game, find them? That's what they did. That's what they did. Got to find two things. Got to find a fog and a goth. Because when we compose, we compose both ways. Some of us do compose both ways. So I want to know what fog is. I want to know what fog is. F thingy G thingy X. Folks, that's Ben Bozak if you want to friend request him for the sole purpose of saying that was awful. If you want to do that for the sole purpose of saying that was awful, fog is F of G of X. So I know what G is. G is 2X squared plus 3. And so I asked myself, self, what does the F function do? The f function takes 2 times an input and adds 3. Who do we stick into him? That was, that was terrible. Three people said ew, and one person said g. And, and Claire said Santa. That's right. That's Claire, everybody. So, so there we go. We're going to do 2 times the input plus 3. And then it's everybody's favorite socialist game, Distribute. That's 4x squared plus 6 plus 3. That is, in your best German accent, 9. Very good. Very good. Hopefully the folks at home got that. If not, folks at home, just remember to be German, sound angry all the time. G of F, because some of us do go the other way. G of F of X. So what is that? That's G of whatever F was, and F is 2X plus 3. So now i got to ask myself what the G function does. What does the G function do? Right, it takes 2 times the square of an input and adds 3. What do we stick right into? There it is. Now, I'm not the sharpest knife in the place where they keep the knives, but distribute the two. That's me. Son of a Nick, ring off! That's there forever, friends. 20 years from now, they're going to wonder who this Nick Ringoff guy was. So what do you do? What do you do? You go into scrap land. And you square 2x plus 3 using everybody's favorite four-letter F word. Oil. I sure hope this microphone doesn't pick any of you up. I sure hope this microphone doesn't pick you up. It is cutting edge 1991, this microphone. Cutting edge. So what do we got? I got to do 2 times 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 plus 3. Everybody's favorite socialist game distributes. And there it is. Kitty Nichols, everybody. How about it? Bravo! Bravo! Remember, folks at home, every person that comes into the room should be welcome. Um, Mr. Ritter, they don't match. 
and they don't match because composition is not what's that thing where you flip the order and it's still the same what's that thing commutative very good very good not commutative 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 means that you can change the order and it's still the same answer but that's not true here hey one other thing while we're on topic still playing everybody's favorite game find them how do you find the inverse of the f function how do you find that right we switch x and y and solve for y i'll do that over in scrapland 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 switch x and y that is right 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 switch x and y solve for y Give me a Y! You know, because if you don't say Y, I can't go on. Give me a Y! Yay! Yay! The folks at home are totally lost. A uh, couple, but give me something, give me some simple function. Go ahead, give me a simple function. Go. X squared, that works. Next time be faster, Abby. And then, then a G of X is going to be X plus 3 over 3X plus 1. That's going to be our G of X. And we're going to find some things. We're going to play everybody's favorite game, find them. F of G of X g of f of x and then just for good measure we're going to find f inverse and g inverse not bad not bad we'll find those just for kicks and giggles because i know what's coming what's coming you scared the folks at home. F of G, that's F of that thing. Which means I've got to know what the F function does. What does the F function do? Where is it? Oh, I got to square something. Square what? That! Nicely done, Sam. X plus 3 over 3x plus 1, quantity squared. Would you like to simplify that? Me neither. Me neither. Of course, some people do go both ways. It's a great quote from the Wizard of Oz. The scarecrow, when the scarecrow's up on the post there, and Dorothy asks him which way she should go to get to the Emerald City, and he says, some people go this way. And some people go that way. Of course, some people do go both ways, which is ridiculously illogical. So the G function takes an input and adds 3, and then takes 3 times an input and adds 1. So what do you stick them in the spot? You really should have more culture. Folks at home, you really should know about the Wizard of Oz. And then the X squareds cancel. And the 3s cancel. And the pluses cancel, leaving you with over one. Next question. That's right, all you folks at home. F inverse. Why is F inverse impossible to find the way the function is currently defined? Yes, math is broken. What is it about that function, about the F function? What test does it fail that makes an inverse function impossible to find. Way to hedge your bets. The vertizontal line test. Way to hedge your bet. It, it fails the horizontal line test. See, y equals x squared looks like her. Looks like her. And so when you go to, shout out first grade. Here we go. So when you try to find the inverse, you find the inverse by reflecting over um, by reflecting over um, y equals x. Very good, very good. And so you get this thing looks like 
that, and that's not a function. And since that's not a function, you can't apply this notation to it. So we have to restrict her. We have to restrict her like the dance contract. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that f of x is x squared for non-negative x's. I'm going to say that f only exists there. There! And I'm going to do that so that I can take the inverse. There! How do you take an inverse? You switch x and y and solve for y. Give me a y. Square root of x. Do you take the positive square root of x or the negative square root of x? The positive square root of x, the picture belies that. Uh, the picture underlies that fact. And so what do we got? Radical X. Everybody say yay. <laughs> yes, friends, it's like this every day. You want to know what happens in this room? You can know what happens in this room. It records the screen. They will see that thing pop up. It records everything that happens on the screen in real time. So if, if I stand in front of the screen and dance, it doesn't do anything. But if I bring up Infinite Campus, there are all your pictures. And that's part of the video. So there you go. Go. So Scrapland. In Scrapland, I've got to switch X and Y, solve for Y. Yes, yeah, Scrapland looks like a deformed chicken nugget. Very good. Folks at home are totally lost. Totally lost now. Gosh, especially because I'll make this available to other schools. And they'll say, chicken what? And wonder what we're doing. I got to get Y by itself. The problem with getting Y by itself, count the Ys with me. Two Ys. Uh, 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 uh. Like they won't see me flick the light. So it doesn't even matter. How do you get Y by itself, all my friends? It's not possible, and so we quit. Because whenever anything gets difficult in life, we quit. What do you do? Cross multiply. I still have the problem of two y's, but at least they're on the same line. At least I'm on the same line. So? I want to get all the Y stuff to one side and all the non-Y stuff to the other side. First period referred to this as Plessy v. Ferguson, where we're going we're gonna to segregate all the Y things to one side and all the non-Y things to the other side, which means when I want to get Y by itself, G inverse is going to be 3 minus X divided by... Suck that Y right out of there. Careful if you have gum in your mouth. Don't do it if you have gum in your mouth. Suck the Y. 3X minus 1. And then the 3s and the Xs and the minuses cancel out, leaving you with over 1, as we had before. Therefore, all answers are over 1. All answers are over 1. Wonderful. So there you go. Those are my highlights. What are yours? We're good. Anything you want to say to the folks at home? That was way more interactive than the first period group. Way more interactive. There you go. What? What? Not ending it with a song. Not ending it with a song.